It's time for another Target dollar section shop with me. This is the best time of year to look at Target dollar section because they're having a lot of things for the holidays that are coming up. So I'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna shop the dollar section. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. I know you guys love this. We are going to Target. We are gonna do a shop with me and we are looking in the dollar section for all of the fun things for kids. I've already done a shop with me over at Dollar Tree and they have a ton of holiday stuff right now, you guys. They have fall things, Halloween things. They even have a little bit of Christmas things. So if you haven't seen that video, you definitely wanna go check that out after you watch this video. I'll try to put a link up here in the corner so you can go straight to it or down below in the description box. I also did a little bit of a haul too because I had to buy some things. But in today's video, we're heading over to Target and I have a lot to show you, so let's get started. One of the best things about the Target dollar section are the crafts. So we have some haunted houses here that come with the paint and the paintbrush, so you can paint them on your own, a fun little craft. We have the Halloween blank books. This one is in a pumpkin. We also have the kitty cat, which I think is really probably my favorite one. And then we also have this one here, kind of a fall autumn theme. These are blank books with empty pages inside. We have sticker books, but this time they're coming in packs of three for $3. We used to see them sold individually, but there's about 200 sheets, excuse me, 200 stickers in each sticker book. I love these Imagine Ink books. I think they're so great. They're just easy. I throw them into an activity kit and my kids have fun with them. We have a make your own shrink design kit in several different styles. We've tried these before in our dollar toy tests and they work really well. I thought these were cute. They are squishies that you color. So I found a cat and a pumpkin. Our store didn't have very many, so I'm hoping to find more of these. And then we have the paint your own ceramics. Same kind of concept as the wooden ones I showed you first. These come with the paints and the paintbrush. And then of course there's several different styles in those. We have the holiday pencils like we always do and the play packs which come with coloring sheets, stickers, and crayons. These are perfect to hand out to trick-or-treaters if you're still doing that this year or maybe they're giving them to friends at school we also have all the little trinkets like mini slimes mini bubbles the kinds of things that you can give away to a class party or even in little individualized trick-or-treat bags for trick-or-treaters a little bit of the Halloween makeup this year I didn't see a lot in my store which makes me think there might be more coming in the coming weeks but here's what I found it's just to do some really basic Halloween makeup on your face however if you're wearing a mask when you're trick-or-treating it might not be ideal but you might want to find some of this if you're gonna be doing some kind of fun makeup for your costume they also had some really cool glow-in-the-dark sticks these are huge massive ones and then they always have the Halloween themed socks the skeleton one actually went home with me I do like the pumpkins too these are for my kids and they had some for adult sizes as well these are super cute they are little packages of stickers so they're the matchbook size and inside their stickers once again another great trick-or-treat item or even to keep on hand for like those busy activities to do when your kids are bored they had several different styles eight count in each one here are the window clings for this year these are great to put up seasonally they come right off your windows no problem the kids actually like putting them up themselves and I found a couple of Halloween themed headbands <laughs> I liked these a lot and I also like the skeletons they're just kind of a fun thing to do maybe if you want to kind of be festive for Halloween you can try it on yourself I did see some hair pieces and I have another one I'm going to show you here in a little bit treat buckets there's a couple of different styles in here you can put treats in here and give them out to friends there's three dollars for three and they are really good quality these are great to put little votives inside and then they had a lot of signage too this one had some glitter that falls around when you shake it they also had your traditional pumpkin. I like the tableware this year. The ghost is really adorable with its little party favor and then they had the matching napkins to go along with it and then they had even more designs in the napkins which makes me believe they probably have these in the plates too. These are light up necklaces and light up rings which are a lot of fun to make sure that you are seen on Halloween night. They had a couple different styles in those and then I found these really cool puzzles. I have never seen these before so they are paint your own puzzles and they come apart. They're not very complicated puzzles they have maybe three or four pieces to them but they're just kind of a fun way to do a craft this season I really like these if you've tried them you have to let me know because when I went back to Target to see them again they were gone we always have the Halloween pumpkins every year too here are the styles that they have this year they're slightly different than last year a little bit different colors too and then they always have these hanging decorations this one is kind of monster theme bug theme they also have this one that had kind of your witches items 
on it that you can string across in a room or maybe on a mantle. I really adored these. I showed them on my Instagram. They are little trick or treat bags. This one here in the pumpkin glows in the dark and then they even had one that said they have food allergies on it, which I thought was pretty cool. These treat bags are just a dollar. They're a little bit smaller than some other treat bags, but I think they're pretty neat. Here's the one that says it has food allergies. Okay, light up glasses. These are probably really annoying me, but they are kind of fun, so I had to show them to you. Different styles, you turn them on and they are going to light up. <laughs> what do you guys think? You like them or you hate them? I don't think I could handle it. I thought this little cat was adorable for a little trick or treat basket. Here's some more costume headbands. We had several different ones, including this pink one that lights up. Uh, you can use these and put together an outfit with some things you probably have at home. They even had some devil horns, and of course they had to throw in a unicorn. Here's some more hanging decorations in the pumpkin theme that I found around the corner. And one glitter banner that says, Happy Halloween. And then this one has little bats on it and it says ink. I wanna show you real quick that they did have the table coverings that match those paper plates and napkins that I showed you earlier. So if you wanna get the matching set, they have them all. And then here is a pumpkin basket. So you can get that cat or the pumpkin. I can't decide which is cuter. We also had some fun notebooks. I think these are great to have on hand to get your kids drawing or writing or to use with activities. Really simple and easy. Also very portable, great for activity kits. And then these books were kind of interesting. They are absolutely nothing. There's nothing inside. They're just hollow inside, but they make a great decoration. Thought they were kind of fun. And then here's that other little hair piece I told you about in a little spiral. I have a feeling there's more styles of these out there, but this is all that my store had at this time. All right, some toys that I wanted to show you. We had some mini unicorn erasers. We had some styro putty from Mad Labs in several different colors. And then we had tons, tons of this stuff, which is a great sensory compound. And then of course, this is another one of the purple alphabet favorites. Get a couple of these and you'll have an instant sensory bin. Love, love, love it. I think my kids would love these. They are kind of like diamond art, but they have these little foam stickers that you put and match the numbers. And they come in several different styles. I saw some unicorns, kittens. Also, these are fun. I think my kids would just have a ball with this. I don't know what they would use it for, but I'm sure they would love it. And then we have some really fun stuffed animals in all kinds of different styles. I like the green little dinosaur. He's just so adorable. And then we have some new games. These are perfect beginner games. This one is a memory outer space one. Um, how cool is that? This one right here is a Who Am I Animals game. These are just really great basic games and they make really good gifts, you guys, if you wanna have something on hand to give away that's just a really great price and lots of fun. We have a princess one here, which is Princess Adventures which looks like a kind of a Candyland-esque game. So learning your colors, learning how to count. And then we also have the Cookie Bake Off. Moving on to the other side, I did see they had a lot of kids masks in the dollar section. And this time they're in licensed characters. So a lot of favorites here, Jurassic Park, LOL Dolls, Ryan's World, Trolls. So if you want some of those fun themed masks to make mask wearing a little bit more fun, you might wanna try Target. Look, they even had Minions. And then we also had our witch's hat and some Halloween costume ideas starting to trickle in. I thought these were pretty interesting. They are plush hats. There was a flamingo. There was a turkey. Um, friends, anyone? <laughs> Do you remember that Friends episode? A shark, which I think is a lot of fun, and a couple others. You guys, I guess it's just kind of a fun take on a Halloween hat, maybe? And real quick, I wanted to show you that they did have some crafting stuff for holidays, too, for Halloween and for Thanksgiving. A couple of stickers. A couple of really fun table accents, kind of get your craft on. They had some stamps if you wanted to make some Thanksgiving cards or maybe some Thanksgiving place cards. And they also had pads of paper that had lots of different patterns in them so that you can make cards. You can do those place cards as I mentioned or just some fun Thanksgiving Halloween crafts. Over here they had a few wooden accents too. These would be great for card making crafts and then also maybe even reefs. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this Target dollar shop with me. Also, if you're new to the Purple Alphabet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up to show your love.